guys, what's up? It's me, Austin, here, and today I'll be reacting to Hermitcraft 8, Episode 16, uh, Sport Horse Squad. This video is by Mumbo, and I really hope that you guys like this video. Um, and if you do, please go over to Mumbo Jumbo's channel, show him some support, subscribe to him, like the video, um, etc., etc., etc. If you um, do like this video, I highly suggest you go check him out. He's a very good content creator. Um, and the link to this video will be down in the description below. Also, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you like my videos, please subscribe. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later if you want to. Enjoy the video. I'm a bad friend. You see, everyone else is asking Scar to build above their bases, and I, I have... I forgot to build the sign. I was totally meant to build the sign, but I completely forgot to build the sign. I'm absolutely 100% happy for Scar to build above my base. In fact, I think, I think he would make my base look better. I really wanted him to build above my base, but now he probably thinks that you can't build above my base because I haven't put a sign there. So I should, I should probably put a sign there. And after Wait, he's wearing his far longer than I care to admit of what I should write on this sign. I think I've come he's up. He's wearing with his thing. regular skin. And I'm, I mean. Writing Regular text Minecraft skin, like the one with the It's really suit. difficult in Minecraft. This is one of the many things that I struggle with. But after numerous battles, the first line is completed. I have one more line left to write out, and immediately I've done it wrong. But now I've done it right, and I think that's perfect. I'm a bit late, but you can build here, mate. This is one of those classic situations where I didn't know how long this line was actually going to be, so it's ended up being incredibly off centered. It's a little <laughs> bit like when you're writing on a page and you think you can fit the final word in. And then that word ends up being way longer than you expected and just gets crammed up against the edge. Well, this is the Minecraft version of that. But I don't think it looks too bad. And hopefully Scar listens to my bright red sign and builds above my base. Although now that I'm thinking about it, Scar tends to build things quite big. And here he only has 80 blocks to play with. So let's be honest, he's probably not going to build above my base. <laughs> the gesture is there, and that is the most important thing. Let's start to work on our storage system, shall we? In the previous episode on the Hermitcraft server, we built up this rather ridiculous looking storage system. So this is a three tier automatic sorter, and it contains, I'm gonna keep going. I'm going to keep going regardless of the slimes. It contains storage for 150 separate different types of items. So we have 150 unique storage spots inside this chamber right yes. here but this is just one half of our automatic storage system we also need this half over here which is going to be for all of the bulk storage so this is for items that i'm likely to have more than two double chests of so things like stone dirt granite diamonds you know the items that diamonds. you're absolutely overflow <laughs> wait a minute i'm in my regular skin What's you happened? finally noticed. <laughs> what? I totally could have killed those slimes, because I'm currently not a peace-loving, plant-loving potato. The Hermitcraft spud balance has been restored. So I've done a tiny bit of planning <laughs> as to down. where all of these chests are going to go, and I think I've come up with a fairly aesthetically pleasing layout for these things. So obviously each one of these is going to be a large storage silo, so all of the chests are going to go up like this, they're going to have redstone lamps next to them, it's all going to look very fancy indeed. Each storage silo is three blocks wide, then there's a three block spacing between each of the storage silo, apart from this central bit right here, which is four blocks. And then on the left hand side, the redstone lamps are on the right, and on the right hand side, the redstone lamps are on the left, which is surprisingly nice. difficult to say. So we have stone, cobble, dirt, grass, sand, potatoes, diamonds, and of course, end crystals. These are all the items that I expect to have so much of that they won't fit inside my conventional storage system. Now that I'm looking at this, you know, we've got 10 double chests here. I think I might actually have to have two modules for diamonds, maybe even three. Maybe we just use one half of it for my diamond storage. Is 40 double chests going to even be enough? I mean, I am the CEO of Botum. Now that, that's gonna come with a lot of diamonds. I guess we can probably expand if necessary. But no, there is a terrifying place that I don't enjoy. And sadly, I have to go back because I don't somehow enjoy I grossly <laughs> underestimated how many redstone lamps I would need, even though it's a very simple mathematical thing to work out. I mean, it's literally eight times 10. How could I not do 8 times 10? All the lamps are in place, and this is now looking incredibly fancy, but I'm now just coming to terms with how many comparators this system is actually going to require. It's a lot. It's probably more than this. Time to do some resource gathering off camera. It turns out I've completely run out of redstone, which is making this resource gathering off camera considerably more challenging. But thanks to green and a little bit of server lag, I'm now sorted. <laughs> and now we should have everything that we need to get this thing constructed. So let's do it in the form of a time lapse because I'm very tired. You see, I went on a stupid bike ride yesterday. I went for a 93 kilometer ride, which is around about 60 miles. 
and afterwards I just ate absolute garbage food, you know, terrible food. Don't think I replaced any of my nutrients whatsoever, and now I just keep falling asleep. Like, it's the next day, and my muscles don't hurt, nothing aches. I, I feel great, I feel fantastic. I'm just tired. Like, my energy <laughs> level is at the bottom, it's, it's just the absolute bottom, it's like half a percent. You know, it's when your phone starts slowing down when it's on low battery. That's me right now. I think I need to go to bed. But now I'm back, and this thing is all completed and looking incredibly fancy indeed. I always absolutely love the way these storage silos come together. I think they're one of the coolest looking redstone contraptions in Minecraft. Especially as all of the chests begin to fill up and all of the redstone lamps start turning on. There's just something about it that's so incredibly satisfying. Parson gas, saving the day again. I will never get bored of this thing. But I wish they would restock the ones that are close to me. Is that? Who is that? It was Doc on his way over to Etho's base. It's always cool seeing hermits out and about in the wild. And speaking of wild, I think it's about time that we kit out the other members of the Botum Corporation with wild rides. I think it's a bit of a bad look when the CEO of a corporation rocks up in just the most ridiculous, flashy vehicle, and then all the employees are just like, ah, oh, great, look at that guy. He's about to tell me what to do. I want to empower my fellow employees of Botum, and I'm going to implement the Botum Corporation company car scheme, where not only the CEO gets a wicked ride, but every single employee gets a wicked ride. Then we can all cruise about the Hermitcraft server, just drifting about, doing donuts, just terrorizing everyone. Oh my goodness, we have to do that. We have to do that. I'm just gonna leash you up over here, and then I'm just gonna go over here and just look off in this direction and listen to the turbo noises. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> It's finally did a bit of breathing. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a lead. I wasn't expecting it to be a tiny sports horse. <laughs> that is the funniest thing. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> why is this so funny to me? I don't know why this is so funny to me. <laughs> it's just the best. It's like I'm all. It's like. <laughs> and he's so twitchy. Okay. Oh. How long do they stay like this? No. Wait, has it got high pitched? Has it got high pitched noises? It's like the regular turbo noises, but higher pitched. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Oh, oh, I want one of these permanently. I, I want one of these permanently. I feel like one of those people who walk around Los Angeles with their, like, designer dogs. That's honestly what this feels like. This, fe <laughs> this feels like I've got a poodle with a sick paint job. I laughed about this for far longer than I care to admit. I now have two baby sports horses. There's three sports horses. These guys look so cute next to one another, don't they? Mm -hmm. And now we have four of these little guys. Which, when you add mine, gives us five, which gives us enough sports horses for the Botum Company horse scheme. There is an awfully large number of turbo noises going on around my base at this point in time. Of course, as soon as I say that, they all stop. <laughs> which is rather embarrassing. They still... There's still none. Thank you. Oh look, they all did it at once. Let's quickly get these guys some name tags. Back to the most satisfying place on the Hermitcraft server. Let's go. Oh, well, yes. I apologize to everyone who isn't interested in cars. These name tags are going to be very unfunny to you. So we have the R30 Horse Skyline, the Mark Horse Supra, e Horsey 6 M3, and my personal favorite, the Lance e or Delta Integrale. To the 11 people watching right now who understood all of those references, I salute you. Now I've kept my original horse is still being named as horse this guy is the og he doesn't need any fancy names or anything like that he just he is what he is i've just realized though my guy's rocking the wide body kit and none of these guys are so i guess we should sort them out with those anyone who's new to my hermitcraft series is probably just beyond baffled at this point in time i, I can't imagine what's going through your head i just want you to know that everything is fine you're not crazy and there's nothing weird going on here. It's just a regular old day on the Hermitcraft server. I've been thinking a lot about where I want to store these things, and I think just tying them up to Teresa, I, I don't know if that's quite good enough. So I want to create a subterranean garage. And I've earmarked what I think will be the perfect location. You can see right here, these two spruce wood blocks. This is where the entrance to the garage would be. Then down underneath the ground, we'd have like a workshop, 
car storage area. It would look very, very cool. And by car, yes. of course, I mean horse. I use those terms interchangeably, apparently. Anyway, I was reading through the comments of the previous Hermitcraft episode, and a lot of people actually did do the calculation for the correct number of blocks to go and grab a beacon. And I think it was around about 600. So 10 stacks of blocks. That's when it's faster to go, grab a beacon, construct it, and then mine out your space. And clearly I am flying in the face of this advice because I think I'm about to mine out an area that's larger than 10 stacks of stone and I'm not using a beacon. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Definitely should have got that beacon. This was a painful, painful process. But it is all clear now. We have got our space for our subterranean garage and I'm excited for it. First things first, we need to make the garage door itself. And originally I was going to do this making use of slime blocks and honey blocks, but I honestly think these concrete powder doors I think they look cooler. So this is a little tileable design. I can stack this across, oh. that would be perfect. And yes, I have been experimenting with pimple poppers again lately. I hate myself oh. as well. You know, I had completely forgotten <laughs> that the main use of a target block is actually to detect projectiles. So I was trying to take off and I kept firing rockets and everything kept activating and I was incredibly, incredibly confused. That shows how weird redstone people get about redstone components. <laughs> like the, the main purpose of the target block is obviously to be a target for projectiles but I have never used it for that. I always use it for redirecting redstone and it's gotten to the point now where I'd forgotten all about its main purpose. I mean, it is literally a target and it's called the target block. How could I have forgotten about that? All rants aside, our piston door is now all constructed. Thank you to Iscal for providing sea lanterns for this project. And this project is coming together really quite nicely. So I'm going for like an ultra white, ultra modern, looking garage here <laughs> it's inspired by a certain video game and it is looking good it is feeling good it's feeling correct the only thing that i am wondering is if it should have some kind of contrast color in here but then you know i don't i don't know if we need a contrasting color in a build like this to be honest this is almost meant to look like the mclaren center or like the tesla gigafactory it's meant to look like not a single drop of oil has dropped onto the floor this is not a traditional garage all right this is like a high-end garage so I do feel like we're going along the right track here. Just these couple of blocks to go in, and then I guess we need quartz down the edge here. Yep. And that... Yeah, look, that looks good. That should do us. So we drop down into this zone, and oh yeah, the entire ceiling. Oh yeah. How could I have forgotten <laughs> about the entire ceiling? Okay, there we go. This, this is looking wicked. And this piston door out the front, this is also looking pretty wicked. I mean, look at this. This feels fancy. This feels very fancy indeed. That kind of looks like a face. A little bit. Why quite a lot. What's that known imagine? as again? It's got a funny word. I think it's a pareidolia. I want to say it's a pareidolia. I but think that, that could is be something it, yeah. completely different. I hope I haven't just said something rude. This is looking now, very oh, cool. I'm the fire. I am really the opposite that. of cool right now. So the Botum Executive Garage is now fully completed. Let's get to work on bringing all of the horses over. And I have come up with some new names for them that are slightly less car nerd specific as much as i appreciate these names i don't know if the other members of botum will really understand what i'm going on about i mean it's bad <laughs> enough that the ceo of botum is turning up to meetings as a potato in a batman costume if i start giving our horses nuclear launch code names i think some phone calls might get made with that being said i'm not sure that this is much better to be honest with you anyway i've got all of our names worked out so let's start transporting these sporty horses these things will never stop being funny to me i cannot wait to cruise as a squad with everyone else okay the Botum Company horses are now all in place, our garage is filled, and I guess we will return back here in the next Botum meeting. I mean, that seems like the best place to reveal them, so for yeah. the time being, the door will remain closed. And now we return to the storage system. You see all of this stuff? All of this stuff looks absolutely fantastic, and every individual module is working perfectly. Like, they would be able to sort out items, they would store items correctly, it would all be functional. But they currently aren't connected at all like this is completely separate from this and there's no way for the items to transport between all of the modules the water streams aren't in place we don't have any of the uh, infrastructure so okay. it is time for me to resolve that situation i need to install an item input that is then going to take the items up it will take them across the bulk storage first because bulk storage is likely where a lot of the items are going to be going into. Then I guess the items need to drop out the bottom, go underneath the ground, go back up to the top, and then meander their way through all of these chests as well, before eventually <laughs> ending up in some form of miscellaneous item storage. 
That is not an element that I've actually thought of just yet. I'm sure it'll be fine. Cubs Ice Store is very precarious to get into. <laughs> okay, this... Yeah, that is powdered snow. All right. Um, I guess I need to take those leather boots. <laughs> this is definitely an experience. Is that meant to happen? It is meant to happen. That's a very cool little system that he's created there. That is super cool. This whole place is really cool. Right, what do we need? I've forgotten what I need. That's how cool this place is. We need definitely not blue ice. We need packed ice. How much is packed ice? Two diamonds per stack. That is not bad. I've brought three diamonds. That's typical. And I almost put my netherite boots into this, into this right here, which would have been quite depressing. So first things first, let's run it this water depressing. channel yeah. across in this direction. And that is going to go up and round. So that is our bulk storage now all fully covered in water. Next, the items are going to pop off the end here and they're going to drop down to here. And I think I'm still going to create a glass chamber here because I know what will happen otherwise. I will remove one of the blocks in this wall. Then all of my items will sit in that hole. They will despawn and I will be upset, not know what's happened and then want to punch myself in the face. That generally <laughs> is the circle of life when it comes to cutting corners, at least when I'm involved. And I do just want to say, obviously all of this looks incredibly ugly at this point in time. Don't worry, it's not going to be staying like this. We are going to do something fancy eventually. No matter how many times I build these things, I'm always absolutely terrified when I place the water in that I have forgotten to place in a block and the water is just going to flood down it and destroy everything. I mean, imagine if it went through here. Now, in case oh, you're new to how suck. these things function, you see this chest right here. Well, that is pushing the item right up against the edge so that it goes in the water stream, but it also goes over the top of the hoppers so that it can drop down into the sorting system. This is one of those weird Minecrafty things <laughs> that is like a very specific trick that Mojang never thought of when they implemented it, but it is ridiculously useful. Another yeah. thing that is ridiculously useful is the fact that we can crawl in Minecraft. Do you remember when this was a controversial change? People said this wasn't Minecrafty. This is the best thing in the world. <laughs> Partly because it looks so hilarious. Anyway, we are gradually zigzagging our way across. I'm now down to the final rung. And now that everything is all done, one thing that I didn't really appreciate is how cool it would look with the water in. That looks way cooler. Like the little slashes of blue and of course the ice breaking up all of the hoppers. Yeah. This looks fantastic. I mean, fantastic in a very industrial sense. Like if you're a full blown Minecraft nerd, this looks fantastic. This looks fantastic. This looks fantastic. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, it's a bit of a monstrosity. I'm sure Green, and Pearl and Scar don't go to bed dreaming of this stuff, but I do. In fact, <laughs> there's a chance that they don't go to bed dreaming about Minecraft. That could be me and I could be weird. Yeah, I'm probably weird, aren't I? Anyway, our gigantic redstone pit is now filled with all of the redstone things that we need. We've got the mega door, we've got the wicked storage system, we've got the bulk storage. All of this is ready to start receiving items, but I can't help but start thinking about the next stage of the process, which of course is the decoration. Turning this from an industrial mess into a peace, love and plants utopia. And as I mentioned a few Hermitcraft episodes ago, what I'm thinking for the ceiling is a giant planetarium. So a planetarium is essentially a room that has an imitation of the night sky on it. Mm -hmm. Normally this is like animated using screens, but in Minecraft, you know, I have so much space to play with here. I have 150 blocks of vertical height to play with. I can basically create my own little galaxy up there. And as we walk around, we'll be able to see all of the stars shifting and moving about due to the parallax effect. I genuinely think that is going to look so, so very cool. And I've been doing some thinking about how I'm going to do it. You see, one thing I was stressing about is when I actually build up the stars, and obviously they're going to be made out of light emitting blocks, they would light up the walls, all of this area here. And one solution to this is, of course, to cover the entire thing in black concrete. <laughs> but that would be a lot of black concrete. Like, that yeah. would be... That would be an enormous project. It wouldn't be particularly enjoyable. So I was trying to think of anything possible to get around doing that. Don't get me wrong, I'm a complete moron. I totally would have done it because I think this is gonna look really cool. But thankfully, my two brain cells, they rub together well and they've come up with a plan. Let's pop through quickly into a creative mode testing world. This tinted glass is an absolute winner. I believe this was introduced in Minecraft 1.17. It essentially stops any light coming out, but it's completely transparent. And I think this is gonna work perfectly. I mean, this yeah. is on a much smaller scale. And obviously I need to work out the density of the stars and things because this could look a little bit cluttered. 
but man is it perfect. I mean I can already imagine what this looks like and I think it will look so cool. This is only like 20 blocks of height, can you imagine this magnified over 150 blocks of height and much wider and much deeper. I mean it's just gonna look so good. So that is my plan. The only issue is it's going to require a lot of tinted glass and also a lot of sea lanterns. So I might need to get Iskal to sponsor my planetarium. Which reminds me, Tango has yet to give us his sponsored message but when we do get it, those signs are going to be plastered all over the storage system. The only thing is, I'm almost completely out of iron already. In fact I think I am totally out of iron. So the question is, because he hasn't given me the sponsored message yet, can I still get more iron under our current deal? Or am I going to have to renegotiate and do even more sponsored stuff? I mean, I don't know how much more I could do. This potato face certainly wouldn't suit big eyes. That is the stuff of nightmares. I hope that you've enjoyed this Hammercraft episode, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. And actually, on the topic of potato skins and... <laughs> Thanks for watching, like, a bunch of letters. Big eyes and everything like that. I wonder... Have I had a single episode on the Hermitcraft server this season where I've had my regular skin? I don't think I have. It seems like, it seems like I everyone on the Hermitcraft so. server here is mixing and matching what they look like. I wonder what new viewers think. I wonder if there's any new viewers who have come <laughs> along who just see me as a potato and nothing else. Alright, that was a really good video. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, um, please go support Mamu Jumbo. Please subscribe to him. Please like his video. Um, if you like this video, my reaction video, please like and subscribe as well. Um, I will be reacting to um, Mumbo Jumbo's Hermitcraft episodes as they come out. So if you like my reaction videos to his series, um, I highly suggest that you subscribe to me. Um, that way um, you'll receive a notification if you um, turn notifications on. Um, so you won't miss any of my videos um, and especially the videos that you particularly want to see uh, from me But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video and I will see you later. Peace